If you created the perfect basketball fable, it might begin in a small town in Indiana, where kids grow up with a ball in one hand, a basket out back, and dreams of glory in their heads. Or maybe it's a big city kid's dream, which starts on the playground, with the hope that it might end here, on this floor, the way it did in Game 7, when the Lakers returned to Showtime and saw to it that the finals returned to L.A. The Indiana Pacers will join them, making their first appearance in the finals. They were carried to this point by sharpshooter Reggie Miller. His 13-year wait for this moment has now ended. He's heard all about it from his coach, a five-time performer on the league's ultimate stage. In the 1980s, Larry Bird's battles with the Lakers and Magic Johnson reached epic proportions. Now, in his final turn on the bench, he wants one more ring for all of Indiana. It's June in the NBA. For the Pacers, a date long overdue. For the Lakers, it's the way it was supposed to be all year. The NBA championship begins tonight. Hoosiers versus Hollywood. Game one, next. is the NBA on NBC. Tonight, game one, the Indiana Pacers versus the Los Angeles Lakers. The Indiana Pacers, three-time champions of the old ABA, bidding for their first NBA championship. And the Los Angeles Lakers, who have made it this far to the NBA Finals 19 times, but this is their first visit since 1991. Game one, only minutes away at the Staples Center. Hello, everybody. With Doug Collins, I'm Bob Costas. Now, we wish we could start with an original point, but any game involving the Los Angeles Lakers against any opponent sees the conversation begin with Shaquille O'Neal. The Lakers are favored to win the NBA title this year and to win this series, obviously, because of the presence of their near-unanimous MVP. Bob, when you prepare to play the Lakers, everything centers around Shaquille O'Neal. How are you going to defend him? How are you going to slow him down? The Sacramento Kings in the first round did a nice job swarming him. You see four defenders back in the paint. They showed sla uh, they slowed down Shaquille, forced it to a five-game series. Then the Portland Trailblazers were terrific defensive. They were in his lap, stripping the ball loose, causing him all kinds of problems. When he gets the ball quickly and goes to the basket, you cannot defend him. He's unstoppable. He's the most dominant player in the game. And why is it important to slow down Shaquille O'Neal? Because he's the barometer of this team's success. When he scores, look how well his team plays. When he struggles, his team struggles. With that said, also there is Kobe Bryant. Now, Kobe has been sensational throughout the playoffs, but more importantly, first team all defense. Now, he's going to be playing four different pacers, but everybody's going to be waiting for that glamour matchup. Kobe versus Reggie. Bob? It isn't just the matchup with Kobe Bryant that Reggie Miller's been looking forward to. He's been looking forward to this chance his entire career. You know, this is my first time here, and it took me 12 years to get here. You know, the, old, the adage we're taking is we're here, we might as well go ahead and win it, and I'm going to do everything I damn near can to win this series, and I'm going to do whatever it takes. So um, if there's hurt feelings on either side, on my team as well as theirs, at this point in my career and how I feel, I don't care because I just want to get the job done. Reggie Miller loves the bright lights. He loves center stage. Well, here he is in the NBA Finals, and this is when he's at his best. He dons his Superman T-shirt and promptly shoots down 
the Milwaukee Bucks. They move forward to the Philadelphia 76ers, and it's his turn now to eliminate the 76ers. Moving forward now to the New York Knicks, he goes into Madison Square Garden, 17 points in the deciding game six in the fourth quarter to shoot down New York. And look at what Reggie has done in these playoffs. The bigger the game, the better he is, and he loves it on the road. He loves going into a city, being the villain, and Bobby would nothing like to do better than come in here, his hometown of Los Angeles, and shoot down these Los Angeles Lakers. You know, he told us yesterday, I realized they don't hate me here like they do in some of the Eastern Conference cities where we have a rivalry. It's not like it is in New York, but just give me a game or two. Just wait. They'll hate me here soon enough. As for the coaches, each is a veteran of the NBA Finals in his own fashion. Here's what they have to say. We just can't be happy about playing in the finals. We got to go out and improve everybody wrong that we are a good team. We're capable of winning. They don't remember who came in second usually. Uh, they forget about that. So this is really the important aspect of this thing. We got here this far. Let's make it work. Hannah Storm and the Showtime crew are standing by. And after that, the tip-off for game one of the NBA Finals.